Hi, I'm JP Murrieta with the New Mexico Activities Association. We are excited about the upcoming powerlifting season. We have created a video to demonstrate some correct procedures and practices to help ensure a successful event. Once the lifter is motionless with knees locked and the bar properly positioned, the lifter will follow the chief judge's audible command, squat, and begin the squat. squat. The lifter must lower their body until the top surface of the legs at the hip joint is lower than the top of the knees. The lifter must recover at will without double bouncing or any downward movement to an upright position with the knees locked. The lifter rack. will replace the bar on the chief judge's command, rack. The lifter must lie on their back with head, shoulders, and rear in contact with the flat bench surface. The feet must also be flat during the performance of the lift. After receiving the bar, the lifter must show a full lockout of both elbows. The lifter must lower the bar and hold it motionless on the chest. Once the bar is motionless, the judge will give the following command, press. press. Following the press command, the bar must be pressed upwards with the elbows fully locked. The lifter will replace the bar on the chief judge's command, rack. rack. The bar must be laid horizontally in front of the lifter's feet, gripped with either an overhand grip or a mixed grip. The lifter may start the lift at any time. The bar must be lifted without any downward movement until the lifter is standing with their knees, shoulders, and hips fully locked. The lifter's knees and hips must be fully locked, and the shoulders must be in an upright locked position. Following the judge's downward hand motion, the lifter will replace the bar to the platform with both hands and under control. There shall be three judges at each platform, two side judges and one chief judge. Once the lifter is motionless with their knees locked and the bar properly positioned, the chief judge will give a visual signal consisting of a downward movement of the arm with the audible command, squat. Squat. Once the lifter recovers at will, a visual signal consisting of a backward movement of the arm together with the audible command, rack, will complete the lift and signal the lifter to return the barbell to the rack. Rack. The lifter will remove the barbell at will and will lower the barbell to the chest. Once the barbell is motionless, the judge will give the audible command, press. Press. Once the elbows are fully locked, the chief judge will give the audible command, rack. Rack. There is no signal required for the commencement of the lift as the lifter initiates the beginning of the lift. Once the lifter's knees, hips, and shoulders are locked in a straight position and the barbell is motionless, a visual signal consisting of a downward movement of the arm with the audible command, down, will be given to complete the lift. Down. The following is an example of one rotation using the rounds system. This rotation must be used in all sanctioned NMAA powerlifting competitions. A detailed explanation of the rounds system can be found in the NMAA powerlifting rulebook in section eight. The following example shows the deadlift event, but remember that each meet must follow the lift order, squat, then bench, then deadlift. Prior to your event, the following personnel is required at each platform. Each lifter's hand must be marked during the weigh-in with a lot number or identification number that matches their meet registration in power score. The expediter will announce the order of lifters as the round progresses. One's up, four's on deck, two is in the hole. The cards must be organized from lightest to heaviest 
for the given round. Once the lifter is called to the platform, the expediter will hand the card to the marshal to await the attempt. Following the attempt, the marshal will enter whether the attempt was successful or unsuccessful on power score, along with marking the result on the card. The lifter will then approach the score table within one minute of the attempt and will give the marshal the next attempt. The next attempt must be equal or heavier than the previous attempt. The lifter must initial the card prior to leaving the score table. Following the round, the marshal will reorder the attempts on power score along with the cards and hand them back to the expediter to begin the next round. We want to thank TNT Garage of Excellence and their young lifters, along with Albuquerque Academy Powerlifting and Lifting Large for all contributing to the making of this tutorial video. We hope that you found this helpful and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact Dylan Metzger at the NMAA. Have a safe and successful powerlifting season.